Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So guys, we're gonna react to a video which is entitled What if we dumped our trash into volcanoes? Believe it or not, that thought actually came to mind. I'm thinking to myself, a volcano is like a natural oven, a natural furnace. It will just consume anything that's thrown into it. But I was thinking to myself, what it is that it will consume any any trash that's sent into it, what happens to the fume? I feel like this is a good idea, but this is a bad idea because when that trash or that garbage is um, basically burnt, it lets out fumes and then it goes up into the environment and the ozone layer is affected by all of that with the carbon in the air and so on and so forth. So it'll be interesting to hear what is the take on what if we dump our trash into volcanoes. So let's go ahead and check out this video. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting it. Don't forget to subscribe to Juno Sway Just Commentary. Give this video a thumbs up and of course, share it with your friends. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. What if? Let's see. What if? Ooh! A volcano is one of the most unforgiving natural phenomenons on Earth. Uh-huh. If you were to fall into its magma-filled center, your body would quickly bubble up. Poof and disappear without a trace. Wow. So, if they're so good at getting rid of things, uh -huh. why aren't we using them to get rid of our garbage? I was Has wondering. Has anyone tried it before? Hmm, let's see. How would we transport all our trash to them? That's the main question. And what dangers would be involved? Oh, the ozone layer. This is what if. And what here's if? what would happen if we dumped our trash into volcanoes. Americans oh. alone ah. generate about 254 million tons of trash per year. And although dumping it into volcanoes might sound like the perfect way to get rid of it, uh -huh. it wouldn't be that easy. Oh. Volcanoes might look like nature's garbage incinerators, but <laughs> in reality, they're much more dangerous and unstable. Not to mention, a lot harder to get Ooh. to. That's a deep Would one. overcoming these obstacles be worth it? Or would dumping our trash in volcanoes just cause even more harm to our planet? I think it will, if that... The first obstacle in our quest for volcanic garbage disposal uh -huh. would be finding an active volcano that can get the job done. There are only about 1,500 potentially active volcanoes worldwide. Only 1,500. And most of them aren't located anywhere near humans, for obvious reasons. Yeah. That means getting all our trash to an active volcano hmm. could turn out to be pretty expensive. And once we get there, we might find out it's not even the right kind of active volcano. Oh. The kind of volcano we'd be looking for is called a shield volcano. A slow erupting variety that contains the iconic lava lakes that gradually spew out onto the earth. Oh. Unfortunately, these aren't very common. You're more likely to come across their angry cousins, <laughs> known as stratovolcanoes. <laughs> And you don't Strato want that. volcanoes are known for their explosive eruptions yeah. caused by the buildup of pressure from hot gas Shh. and magma. Ooh. In other words, they're probably not the safest location <laughs> for the town dump. I know. <laughs> but let's say we're lucky enough to find ourselves a nice active shield volcano. Uh -huh. Before we worry about the logistics of getting our trash there, yeah. let's figure out if it's even a good idea to dump it inside. If you were one of the first waste collectors hired Ooh. to drive up to the vent of a volcano, ah you'd quickly start to question your career choices. Life insurance will have to be very high for that person. The vent of a volcano is a treacherous environment full of poisonous gases, lava splatter, and Ooh. projectile rocks. And things only get worse once you start throwing stuff inside. I think so. In 2002, a group of Ethiopian researchers threw a 30 kilogram bag of trash into a volcano, and the results were explosive. Lava lakes are wow. unstable, so if you pierce their surfaces with something cold oh! like trash, one bag a chain reaction of explosions involving pressurized and acidic steam. Oh shit! So can you imagine how big these explosions would be oh, if you gosh. threw an entire nation's trash in there? Well, to put it in perspective, rock falls into lava lakes in Hawaii have sent lava 85 meters into the air, so it'd probably Dumb be idea. something like that. Dumb idea. If you could safely get your trash into the volcano, the for a good you'd still have to worry about all the air pollution created exactly, by burning yeah. waste without filters. That's what I was thinking. Plus, not all materials will completely break down in lava, which means that the polluting remnants could erupt out and contaminate the surrounding landscape. Bad idea. Not ideal if you were hoping to burn nuclear waste, for example. Bad idea. Add these environmental impacts on top of the fact that shipping all our trash to these volcanoes would significantly increase the carbon footprint yeah, of the waste uh -huh, disposal. Yes. And the whole thing looks like a terrible idea. Terrible idea. 
<laughs> if we're going to burn our trash, why not at least do it someplace where Control. we can use the heat released through incineration to create new sources of energy? Yeah. Or instead, maybe we could just shoot our garbage out into that's space. Not a good idea Surely either. There can't be any mm -hmm. harmful effects there, right? No, not well, a good idea. That's a topic for another. What if? And I look forward to that. Not a good idea at all to ship ship garbage out of out to space. Nah. -uh. I think human beings need to find a better way to do it. We, I'm saying human beings like I'm not one, but we human beings need to find a better way to do the trash. And we need to get rid of all the plastic stuff. We should really, the best idea is to make things biodegradable or use biodegradable material so that we could put it back to Mother Earth. It's so easy when you have biodegradable material and you just, you know, feed it back to the forest. You just have that compost material and just give that back to the forest and it's amazing how the trees transform the land when we decide to practice composting or, or, or biodegradable or consumption or usage of biodegradable material so that idea came to mind and it's a dumb idea we cannot put rubbish into volcanoes this will cause the earth to just get messed up speaking of earth i've got a video reaction i need to do right now um i hope it gets through because you know it's a very popular one and usually once the song is popular they get blocked on youtube um, but we're gonna check it out, of course. Thank you so very much, guys, for requesting this one. This one is What If We Dumped Trash Into Volcanoes? Thank you. Subscribe, of course, as I said, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys. In this video, I'll talk about the investment in Dominica's real estate and answer the question if it's profitable to invest in real estate in the first place. I'll also take you through the current situation in the real estate market, name the government-approved projects and the number of issued passports. The Dominican Citizenship by Investment program was launched in 1993, however, it gained its popularity only in 2015 after the EU countries have signed a visa-free agreement with Dominica. About 12,000 passports have already been issued to foreign investors. The investor is able to obtain Dominican citizenship by investing at least $200,000 in real estate. Keep in mind that the real estate object you invest in must be included in the list of government-approved investment projects. Here are five promising options. Jungle Bay Villas is an eco-friendly resort in the south of Dominica. Prices for luxury sea view villas start at $255,000. All villas are managed and marketed by an award-winning boutique hotel brand with 10-plus years of operating a profitable and successful Caribbean resort. The owner and the managing company share the income 50-50. The investor will be allowed to live free of charge in the resort one week per year. As for the remaining time, the villa will be rented out. The resort is to be commissioned in 2018. Cabritz Resort Kempinski is a 160-room hotel located at Douglas Bay between the Cabritz National Park and the community of Tantan. -Tan. A minimum investment of $220,000 into the project will entitle the investors to the citizenship of Dominica. Secret Bay Residence is an award-winning boutique resort with just eight sustainable luxury villas and bungalows immersed in nature. The residents are available for whole and partial ownership in exchange for citizenship. The Silver Beach development is a 200-room luxury, eco-friendly, five-star hotel. Investors have two options – to buy a percentage of the property contributing at least $220,000 or to purchase a Calypso Suite starting price $300,000 or a Swim Up Suite starting price $320,000. The suite owner will be able to personally use it two weeks per year. Tranquility Beach Dominica is a prestigious, environmentally sensitive residential resort of first-class accommodation quality. The resort will join Curio A Collection by Hilton, a global set of remarkable hotels handpicked for their distinctive character and personality. One can purchase a percentage of the property, contributing at least $220,000 for a two- or three-bedroom villa, a one- or two-bedroom condo suite for at least $200,000. As for the investment options, 8 out of 10 applicants choose contribution to the government fund. 
By investing in Dominica's real estate, one is eligible to obtain a Caribbean passport that opens the doors to the following advantages. 1. Visa-free travel around the world. 2. Asset protection. The passport holders can open accounts in reliable European banks. 3. Tax advantages. Dominica has no world income, capital gains or inheritance tax. 4. This is an opportunity to obtain long-term visas to the US and Canada. 5. Strict confidentiality. No details about second passport deals are disseminated to third parties, and there is no requirement to reside in the country. 